Good morning. It is, what day is it? First Wednesday. It is Wednesday and I've taken you into work. I've made a coffee. I'm just sitting down trying to sort out my vlog footage from yesterday. So uh, hopefully I'm able to get it edited at some point today. Still got a bit of a cold situation going on, but I feel okay. I got up and got some makeup on and got ready. So not a huge amount planned for today. I'm not sure what the plan is for breakfast, lunch or dinner. And I think I'm crocheting after work today. So hopefully i'll be doing something interesting with that but other than that um nothing else going on i've got luna lying next to me as always i don't know how to flip this camera hang on so luna's currently here just as i want to actually do a bit of crochet so i can't actually move <laughs> she always likes to seem to stop me doing things but anyway i'll catch you in a bit here's my breakfast this morning i've got two slices of toast on that one i've got some marmalade and on this one i've just got butter so very easy breakfast. I haven't tracked the calories yet, but um, I will I will track it once I've eaten. I can't even get my words out this morning. So it's half past four and I have had a rubbish day. There is no two ways about it. So I had a meeting with the auditor, the one that's kind of in charge of the audit this morning, who insisted on me having a three hour audit call this afternoon to go through a company that I've never worked for, well three companies I've never worked for, and go through all the walkthrough of all their processes even though I've never actually done the work and I did try to keep pushing back saying there's no point in me doing it. I wasn't working here last year and also I've never done the work so I can't actually do the walkthrough. I contacted my boss who's in the Netherlands at the minute and he was being most unhelpful although he did join the call in the end but not for the whole call and the auditor this afternoon was the nicest audit you can imagine, but I spent so much of my day in tears because I was feeling so stressed. Now, this sort of thing, I used to just be able to cope with, but I don't know if it's an age thing or the fact that I'm not feeling very well, but I really struggled to cope today and felt like I was just constantly crying um, to the point that Chloe needed to go and get a prescription. So I, wa I walked out to go and get a prescription, which was like a 10 minute walk down to the doctors and the, the chemist, just to get a bit of fresh air to try and see if I could recompose myself not had a lunch break so like I say it's half four now I'm just about to eat something so the only thing I had to eat today was I had that toast that you saw this morning I'm sorry I feel like I've got a sneeze stuck um the toast that you saw this morning and I did have half of the red velvet cupcake from Costco so it probably will take me over calories but I have still tracked everything and I'm trying my best to stay under control but when you're feeling rubbish and you've had a day like this you know it's just one of those things and I'm not making excuses. I have literally, I thought I was at breaking point. I honestly thought I was going to have to go off with stress earlier because I was just in such a bad way. I feel a bit happy now. Like I say, the auditor was the nicest auditor I've ever spoken to. He could tell that I was ill. And he was like, take as much time as you need if you need a break, blah, blah, blah. And I'm logging off now. I'm not at a lunch break. I'm logging off an hour early because I just think, you know what? I'm not doing it anymore. I've had enough. Um, Chloe's very kindly heated my ramen and I'll quickly show you. So here's my Costco ramen. I have scanned it. I think it's like 300 and, it's either 307 or 370 calories. I can't remember, but like I said, I have tracked it. There are the offending red velvet cupcakes, which are delicious, but I only ever have half of one. Chloe's just in the middle of scoffing the scoffing. rest of mine from earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, little Luna's down there. She's followed me downstairs and sitting on her little mat. She's like, I'm turning away. <laughs> so I'm going to eat this. I'm actually going to put some of the chili oil in because I think it will do my cold no end of good, burn it off a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and eat and um, like I say, I'm going to be hopefully going to crochet with Kath tonight somewhere um, and I just need the distraction and the relaxation and I really don't like to be negative on my vlogs. I like to be all positive and stuff, but sometimes we have bad days and we just need to acknowledge that. It's <laughs> just the case. Life. <laughs> life. This is a day in the life and this was my life today and it was horrible stressful. and stressful, <laughs> but it's fine. I have took some burgers out for dinner. I've got burger and brioche buns out. So I will be over calories when I eat one of those later. But I got that out purely because it's something that Eddie or the boys can get on with and do. If they're hungry and they don't want to wait for me, because I might not get back till like 8 o'clock, half 8 tonight. So if they can get on and get their own dinner ready. I'm not really bothered. I might even have one. I'll see how I feel later. But I'm going to eat this now because I'm starving and I shall catch you later. So I'm going to just do this anytime. I've only got three colours for this one that I'm doing, although it's probably wrong. 
I don't know why, but they're borders. I just don't like them. I don't like borders, but if I've got like 18 borders, they won't go that way.
So I'm back from meeting Kirk. It's a bit of an unsuccessful trip, really. We did manage to do our crochet and we had a good natter, but the coffee was awful. It was the, not the best coffee. Just having an all round bad day today. Anyway, Eddie's done dinner. I'll show you what we've got. Doesn't look the most attractive plate of food, but I've got a burger, some cheese, a brioche bun, some tomato and some ketchup. And then on the side, I've got the leftover chicken pasta that I made the other day. I think that was Monday. So that's that. And this is dinner and I shall catch you later. I probably won't record any more footage now because I'm probably will go and pick you in up after I've eaten and sit and do my crochet. Anyway, I shall um, see you tomorrow. Bye. So I think I'm recording now. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. <laughs> no, I'm going to put it down, but I don't know how to get it so that it tilts down. Oh, I do know actually. We went through this last night. Who did? Tom was showing me what, I'm, what I had to do. So. No. I can't see him again when I come to edit, me just looking like this. <laughs> theme for me at the minute. That sounds good. Oh, Kath, you know what? How do you, how do, you do it? It's got a face track on it now. I don't really want it tracking my face. I want it tracking through an hour. Oh, God, it's just tracking my face. 